What's going on, Jerome's? When the Minnesota Fighting Vikings drafted USC, na 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 na, a wide receiver Jordan Addison in the first round, and he, he was seen as a major part uh, of the offense where Adam Jerome Ezekiel Thielen was let go, uh, as well as KJ Osborne going to step on in as a wide receiver too, but he's in a contract year. So Addison, both for this year and the future, was seen as a major piece uh, across from Justin Frick and Jefferson as the Vikings look to um, uh, put th- three deep like 9.0, as well as throw T.J. Hawkinson in the mix as well. And CBS Sports recognizes this. Uh, Jared Dublin over there. Uh, offensive X factors for all 32 NFL teams, blah, 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 blah. And the Vikings check in with Jordan Addison. Uh, this is what they wrote. Uh, Vikings, Jordan Addison. You can easily make an argument for Alexander Madison here, given that he will be stepping into the shoes previously filled for quite a while by Dalvin Cook. A while. Uh, but NFL offenses tend to go as far as their passing game uh, can take them. And Addison is the best player. Uh, in the best position to help take the facet of Minnesota's offense to the next level. He doesn't have great size or elite speed, but Addison is a master technician able to generate separation from nearly any defensive back with ease. How well he works as a complement to Justin Jefferson, TJ Hawkinson will likely determine the ceiling of this offense. And, a lot of those things are fair, although I think that Addison's game speed is a little bit underrated. Uh, he, he did not test very well, but mm. uh, and he did show well at rookie camp, you know, sidelined by a minor injury, but should be good to go for training camp. And you look at Jordan Addison, where you know the, when there was a run on receivers at the end of the first round, JSN going to Seattle, Quentin Johnston going to the Chargers, and Zay Flowers going to the Ravens. Uh, Addison falls into the best possible spot in a high octane Kevin O'Connell offense, opposite of Justin Jefferson, so he's always going to be singled up. Up. And, you know, I, I love KJ, but I think KJ and Addison are going to be splitting wide receiver two, three reps uh, in there. So I think that he does have, you know, the clearest path to uh, 100 plus targets. I think that he is going to get, uh, I think he's going to be wide receiver one of all the rookie wide receivers. And I think that uh, he has the talent to back that up. So he's got opportunity and talent as well as, I, I love the moxie, not going to lie. Like some people are put off when, uh, it, when uh, Quasey, uh, when uh, Quasey made the phone call to him uh, that he's being drafted, and he's like, let's get paid. I actually kind of love that attitude, man. Uh, lo- love the cocksure attitude. Love that he's just going to get after it. And, of course, Blitnikoff award winner in 2021 put up monster numbers uh, with Kenny Pickett uh, at Pitt with the Panthers. USC with Caleb Williams last year. Was able to do it on the inside and the outside, and is just so good at route running. Like, he is so slippery. Uh, sweet feet. Uh, quick feet do eat absolutely, and I, I think that he is going to be. Guy that's, I think he's going to be a guy that surprises a lot of people as well. At, especially since you know the Vikings offense. I mean, th- this is what people don't talk about. This offense was great last year. Was top ten. I think this could be easily be top five this year. Health and continuity up front on the along the offensive line. I, I do think that the village of Madison, King Kenne, Ty Chandler, Dwayne McBride will be enough to replace Dalvin Cook, a little bit more of a running back by committee. And Addison, I mean, Thielen, Thielen was peak at, you know, three, four, five years ago. He hasn't been peak over the last couple of years. And Addison is a clear upgrade uh, at the respective stages of their career, as well as don't sleep on Josh Oliver being added to that running game, as well as in the red zone as a receiver. So this offense got better. This offense absolutely got better, and I think Addison is going to be a major, major part of that, man. And, of course, long-term J.J. and Addison. That's right. Now, again, ironic that Jordan is pipping in this spot, but sort of is what it is. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, CBS Sports points out that Jordan Addison uh, is going to be the X factor of the Vikings offense this year. Kind of agree. Hmm. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Once more, the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull. Production value.